at the start, at the beginning, define your roles. That will align as well as have the ownership, sense of ownership uh, for the individuals who are participating mm -hmm. in that class or work. Yeah, good. And I would add to that, know what problem your goal solves. Identify the problem. All right, let's move on. We are out of time. So I'm gonna let you do this one at home and you can email me if you want support in making sure it's um, stated as a problem. What problem do you, do you solve in your role? So think using the process of identifying the problem to understand your job, your new job. Kind of like I showed you with my client there. And if you want support, we can do some email back and forth on revising it. So questions or comments on this part of transitioning, of how to bring in the stuff we talked about in part one and part two into your specific transition? Questions? Yes. You're immediate, I mean, you're a manager, but you have to meet VP or something like that. They have to be bought into some of this, otherwise you're sort of like set up and fail. Join this. To a certain extent. Collaborative leadership. Yeah, they're not really in it. They might be they might be hesitant because it um, undermines their power and authority. Yeah. But we've seen people who have worked their way up the ranks by playing win win. I mean I believe that ultimately that's what we all want. And so yeah, you're right. Some people won't be happy, but it's up to you and what you value and what you want to stand for. One other question, yes. Um, I would like to ask whether this modern technology that is really out in all these, you know, principles or it's a uh, disadvantage because some of the team members, you don't even see them for a lifetime, like three years, four years. They are sitting in, in other states and you expect yeah. to take the ownership, uh, they, you expect them to take the ownership, you to motivate. We can only motivate, I think, to a certain level uh, by the distance. Uh, right. I believe it should be a mixture, not, I think sometimes I feel uh, especially on the big companies setting up the trend, we are going to the extreme level. Uh, yeah. You know, every meeting is by bags and you don't discourage you to come to office and you know, uh, yeah. boss don't see his team members for months. Uh, I don't know, I just want uh, your take on it, you know, what do you feel about it? Yeah, I think it's definitely harder to build trust remotely. Um, but if you know that going into it, you can just give a little more, give a little more and you have the technology to do live video chat and things like that but and even make it explicit say it's harder it's going to be harder for us to build trust to work well together because we're remote let's see what we can do about that and, and then it's not your problem alone anymore it's yeah. the team's problem cool and i'm happy to stay after to answer questions more questions so here's an overview of what we did today took a look changed our paradigm on what leadership is i give you some collaborative strategy and then we, you focused on your transition personally and what that would involve. So I'm going to do, um, oh, the raffle's next. This is an offer to you, which is, I wanted to give you all half off your first month of coaching if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or with your team. Um, and so coaching, a typical coaching package is three 45 minute sessions per month over the phone. <coughs> Unlimited email back and forth if you want to work something through continual resources and tools that I'll give you, depending on your situation, and then most importantly, someone to partner with, <coughs> someone who's an advocate in your personal leadership development. So typically that's a $500 a month retainer, and so I wanted to offer it to this group of people for $250 for your first month. And so if you wrote consultation on the back of your card, I'll know to contact you about this. And if you forgot to or didn't know, just come and give me another card afterwards. So now I want to do a raffle, and this is for a 90-minute problem-solving strategy session. So one time, 90 minutes on the phone, so it's a double what a typical session is, and this is a chance for us to look at the problem you want to solve and get clearer on that. So did anyone not put their card in the bag? Because I'm about to draw. Ollie? Okay. Quick. 